Thanks for joining us here on Digital Creators, and today we're going to go over how to make that skin tone look like a magazine. So thanks for joining us. My name's Rob, and we'll get started. So this is kind of the, the overall what we're going for. I'm not going to go over the eyes or adding uh, lip, uh, coloring the lips or anything, or even the glasses. This is all post of the photo, but uh, today we're just going to kind of go over the skin. So. That's kind of what we're looking at. Let me close that. I'm going to open up the original. So I'm just going to open it directly into Pixelmator. If you have it open, you can open, uh, click up here to file, open, whatever. And if none of these windows are, are open, as I said in my previous t tutorials, just go to view and show or hide the ones that you, you need. So the first thing I do is copy paste and I'm going to use my lovely wife and her mother-in-law as my guinea pigs and they'll probably kill me if they ever saw this so don't tell them so I always make a duplicate copy and hide it for backup just in case I mess up and, and originally I love this picture uh, before I get started a quick tip if your screen gets blocked by your windows an easy fix for it pinch and zoom your photo down to about the size you want and if you double click on that top bar right up here it'll shrink the your window down to the canvas size which is very helpful so go back on our main layer here what we're gonna do is take the original layer and copy and paste it nope scratch that let's delete that I missed a step what I usually like to do first, oh yeah, she's gonna kill me. Don't let her know I used her photo. Is I'll use the healing tool or repair tool as they call it and fix up any you know obvious blemishes first. And Pixelmator ha has a great uh, repair tool. It's magnificent. If you haven't used it, it's really a great tool. And I need to go down to my brushes here and shrink this a little bit down to about oh my goodness hey you dummy you're just in the wrong one it's up here you know sometimes they put the adjustment size for the the tool up there and sometimes it's on the brushes I, they should just leave it on the brushes so I usually just hit whatever catches my eye whatever catches my eye so we'll get rid of those uh, control Z I don't like that because the brush was actually too big so it made it look a little wrong that's a little better take this one under her eye right here and make it disappear mm, don't like it and it's a great great thing you know you can just cut and paste and redo as much as you want I could probably get away with that and you'll kind of see why here in a second uh, let's get rid of that one and you don't have to do all of them and, and you may not even have to do this I just do it to the obvious ones because it makes the the final product look a little cleaner whatever catches my eye mm. go in here and see if we can get rid of this one here can I do it can I oh it's probably not quite no the brush was quite a little bit too small don't like that let's try that one more time you know sometimes it's actually easier just to dot it maybe 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 you know what we're gonna leave that there we're gonna leave it cuz we'll be able to get rid of that uh, this one I'm talking all this trash about the heal repair tool it really is a great feature I'm just not using it the best and get rid of that rid of that this one's going to be a little bit of, oh no that's just 
or go. Some of these are so minute, they're probably not even worth getting rid of. But it's a good demonstration of the of the tool itself, so. Alright. Once you have most of them taken care of, you can, uh, yeah, I don't see any more. Now I'll duplicate it. Copy, paste. I'm going to go to the second layer, hide the first layer so I can see this, how much effect I'm doing the, on, the, on the second layer. And grab the blur. It's a Gaussian blur. I don't know how you say it. Drop it on there and blur the crapper out of it like that. Bam. Turn this first layer back on. And it, it's such an easy effect to do to really enhance an image. And uh, if you do it right, I'm kind of rushing through it here, but if you do it right and you show somebody the remake photo you did and they don't know that you did anything to it, the first thing they're going to say is, you must have a really good camera. <laughs> And little do they know uh, how much maybe work you put into it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, decrease this brush size down. And I leave the hardness all the way down just so I have a lot of fade off so there's not a contrast mark. And you go blurring. So basically all I'm doing, if I hide this, you're going to see that I'm just erasing. Uh, and I have the opacity up here turn down pretty low that way I can control the the blend of it a little bit is I'm just gonna start erasing portions of this just like this and you wanna avoid the mouth obviously because if the mouth is if you blur the skin it's gonna look soft and smooth but if you blur the eyes, then it's just going to look like a blurry image. And that's what you don't want. So I'm going to have to decrease the, the brush size here to get in here. I'm going to turn this layer back on because I usually do that anyway. So I can see what kind of effect I'm doing. And shrink the brush size down to about here all this around the eye up under the eyelid cheek See, I overextended a little bit here and it's catching some of the, the blur edging. So you don't want to you don't want to go too far with it. And you don't want to you want it to look natural, of course. And I'm kind of rushing through it here. Let me increase the brush size for this. And hopefully you'll see. The difference here as I start it softens it up and it hides a lot of blemishes go down here to the cheeks And like that. So that was just a, a real quick, you know, I could have spent a little bit more time getting more detail with it, but we're going to take this first one right here and we're going to move it up on the top and I'll show you the difference here. So that's before, uh, the after, before, after, before, after. And we can even make that look a little better actually. Get the cheeks a little bit more. See, it's now it's getting to the point to where it's 
really making it smooth. But if you go overboard, then it's going to look too obvious and unnatural. So you don't want to blur it till it's unrecognizable. Unrecognizable here. So I stay away from the hairline, the eyebrows, and it kind of helps keep it that natural look before, after. Before, after. So there you have it. That's how to create a nice soft image and really enhance a photo. And like I said, you can even take it further, uh, change the color of the eyes, add some uh, tone to the lips, and when in doubt, um, if you're really not happy with it, you can always make it black and white, add a vignetta, and poof, instant good image. <laughs> so thanks for joining us here on Digital Creators. I hope you have fun uh, playing with your image, and let me know how it turns out. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and if you create something, share it. I'd love to see it. Thanks for watching. Robert, out.